Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale. Tonight, we find ourselves at the Winter Wonderland Festival, a magical event under a sky full of stars. The air is filled with the aroma of roasted chestnuts and the sweet sound of carolers. But beneath this festive surface, there's a ripple of anxiety among the townsfolk. Our heroes, Evelyn, Oliver, and Lila, are ready to face the shadows that have haunted Montpellier. So, buckle up as we dive into this chapter filled with courage, unity, and a quest for truth. Let's see how these young adventurers will change the course of their town's history. As the final night of the Winter Wonderland Festival unfolds, Evelyn stands at the forefront, her chestnut hair catching the glow of the gas lamps. Her bright green eyes scan the crowd, filled with hope and determination. Beside her, Oliver, with his sandy blonde hair and warm brown eyes, prepares to inspire the townsfolk with tales of bravery. Lila, with her fiery red hair and rebellious spirit, clutches a paintbrush like a sword, ready to transform resentment into art. The clock tower chimes, marking the moment when they will confront the shadows of Montpellier. The enchanted ornaments, once mere decorations, now pulse with life, reflecting the emotions swirling around them. Evelyn steps forward, her voice steady, calling the townsfolk to gather around the main stage, where the shimmering fabric drapes like a veil over the heart of the festival. It's a moment of truth, a chance to unveil the stories hidden within the ornaments and rewrite the future of their town. Oliver's voice rises above the murmurs of the crowd, declaring that they are not just children, but the voices of their past. Lila steps forward, her mismatched clothing a canvas of rebellion, and proclaims that the ornaments are not just trinkets, but symbols of their fears and hopes. The townsfolk, initially hesitant, begin to stir, their expressions shifting from skepticism to curiosity. The council members, draped in formal Victorian attire, watch from the shadows, their faces etched with worry. But the courage of the children ignites a spark of change. As the children lead the townsfolk in a cathartic moment of confrontation, the air crackles with energy. The ornaments glow brighter with each story shared, illuminating the faces of the townsfolk. Laughter mingles with tears as the community embraces their shared history, the weight of isolation lifting like the morning fog. The council, witnessing this transformation, feels their own defenses crumble realizing that they too have been shackled by their fears. The festival transforms into a celebration of unity, with music swelling, laughter echoing, and the enchanted ornaments shimmering with newfound brilliance. The townsfolk, once divided, now stand together, hand in hand, ready to embrace their past and step into a future woven with threads of healing and connection. And there you have it, folks, under the watchful gaze of the stars, Montpellier is reborn. The festival has transformed into a celebration of unity, with the townsfolk standing hand in hand, ready to embrace their past and step into a future filled with healing and connection. The enchanted ornaments shimmer with newfound brilliance, a testament to the power of shared stories and the spirit of forgiveness. Thank you for joining us on this magical journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more enchanting tales. Until next time, keep dreaming and keep believing in the power of stories.